Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today's video is going to be a special one because I'm going to be showing you my entire current car collection in GTA 5 Online that is worth just over $600 million. But this garage tour video is definitely long overdue. Matter of fact, the last time I made a garage tour video was all the way back in April of 2022, which is pretty insane to think about. Because obviously, as you all know, we have had lots of DLCs and updates in GTA 5 Online, so my car collection has definitely doubled in size since that last garage tour video. And a quick little backstory on my collection for anybody who is watching that is new is I used to collect and trade modded cars in GTA 5, as many of you know, but recently I've started to go back on these modded cars and make them look more realistic. Because as you all know, modded cars in GTA 5 Online do look really cool and have rare stuff on them, but they definitely don't look realistic. Matter of fact, now in my opinion, I think all modded cars literally just looks like a little kid made it. So that's why I really wanted to change all of my cars to more realistic looking cars and also cars that I personally like the upgrades that I put on it. But don't get it messed up. A lot of modded paint jobs in GTA 5 Online are so cool and there's literally no other way you can get it except through a modded car. So I did keep a bunch of my modded colors in GTA 5, but as far as the Benny's wheels and a lot of the F1 wheels, I did decide to change those. Anyways, that's just a little introduction slash update on my car collection now since it's been over two years since I last talked to you guys about my car collection, but now let's get into my huge GTA 5 Online car collection. So as many of you may or may not know, the max possible amount of garages you can own in GTA 5 Online is 29, but technically really only 27 because the Kosatka and the Terabyte don't really count in my opinion at least, so really only 27 garages is how many you can own in GTA 5 Online. And yes, as you can see, I own all 27 full garages and yes they are all completely full so let's get into all of those garages right now starting off with all of my garages inside of my CEO office. So let's start with my office garage level 1 as you can see we have the weaponized Ignis and also the regular Ignis right next to each other which is going to be the theme of this entire garage. Yes this entire garage is going to be only Pegasi vehicles. As you can see right here, we have the Pegasi Infernus Classic. We have the Pegasi Terrador, which has the modded F1 wheels on there. And also right there at the very end, we have the Pegasi Tauros, which is probably one of my favorite Pegasi vehicles. And now going over the vehicles on the second floor of my office garage level one, you can see we have this fully modded Tempesta, which I didn't really decide to change. I just decided to keep it modded the way it was because honestly, it looks pretty cool. I like the color and everything, but right here we have a non modded version, which honestly looks even better. It's like an all blacked out version of the Tempesta. I also do have this red on red Tempesta, which I don't really drive too much. This Pegasi Zarusa, which I also don't really drive. The Pegasi Osiris, the Pegasi Reaper, and also the Pegasi Tesseract, which I don't really see too many people driving in GTA 5 Online. And then heading over to my third and final floor for my office garage level one, you can see I have not only one Zentorno, not only two Zentornos, but three Zentornos, but they are all different colors at least. They all do have white wheels though, because I do like the white wheels a lot. I also do have the oppressor in here because I did not know that this is actually a Pegasi branded vehicle. And the last Pegasi vehicles in here are going to be OG Pegasi vehicles, which are the Pegasi Vaca and also the Pegasi Monroe. And then ignore this, but I don't really know why I have this like fully modded MTL Dune in here that just I don't, I don't i don't even know that just really stays here anyway now let's go over my office garage level two as you can see right here we have the fister comet sr which is going to be the theme of this entire garage this entire garage is going to be all fister vehicles as you can see we have not only one not only two not only three not only four but five fister comet retro customs and honestly, the only reason I have five different versions of the Comet Retro Custom is because all these versions look really cool and I was like, there's no real point of getting rid of them. They all look really cool. Now on the second floor, you can see we have a really clean looking Fister 811 and right next to that, we also have a really clean Comet S2 and then we also have the electric Fister Neon. We have the Astron Custom and the also OG Comet Fister. And then for some odd reason, I have a HVY Insurgent in here and also a Mammoth Patriot Stretch, which I honestly don't really know why they're in here. I guess they just didn't have any room anywhere else. I'm just going to warn you right now, the third and final level of this garage is completely out of theme. No Fister cars whatsoever on this level. You can see I have a Future Shock Sasquatch monster truck here. I have a Nagasaki Outlaw. I have the Vapid Desert Raid. I have a Ubermach Sentinel Classic, a Speedo Custom, and a Huntley S. And literally all of these cars I don't even use, especially that one at the very end, which I can't even tell you the name because it's literally glitching through the entire roof. But yeah, I did do a glitch to glitch that in here and I can't switch it to any other garage matter of fact because if I do switch it to another garage, it's going to go absolutely crazy and blow up cars inside the garage. 
So yeah, that is exactly why that stays right there. Getting into my office garage level three, you can see right here we have the Karen Boar and all of the vehicles in this entire garage are going to be Karen vehicles. You can see right here next to it, we have the Karen Sultan Classic with the modded F1 wheels. And then right next to that, we have the Karen Fudo. And not only one Fudo I have, I have another Fudo and also another Fudo. So three total Fudos and my personal favorite one out of the three is probably going to be this all blacked out version right here. And I also have a modded Honda Civic, which I honestly only keep because it has the modded F1 wheels on it and it looks pretty funny. Heading over to my second level, you can see we have the Karen Armored Kuruma and also another Armored Kuruma right next to it. But my personal favorite one is this first one right here, the bright green one because it catches your eye very fast and it also has the bright yellow F1 wheels on it. But this other one does look pretty cool also. We do also have a Karen 190Z in here, a Fudo GTX, an Albany Hermes, which I don't really know why this is in here. It's not Karen or anything, but yeah, it's in here. We also have a Karen Everon and also a Kanjali, which this Kanjali is indeed modded, which you can tell by the livery. And it also does have all Benny's wheels as the wheels for this tank. Anyway, now going over the vehicles on my third level, you can see right here we have the Karen Sultan RS. We also have another Karen Sultan RS right there next to it. And then we have another Karen Sultan, but not RS. This is not Benny's upgraded, but it still looks very cool. You can see it's like an all blacked out version. And then right here we have the Karen Intruder, which I don't really see too many people driving in GTA 5 online, as well as the Vapicino and also the Willard Faction Custom and also a Chernabog, which I don't even know why this is in here. Once again, I literally just keep it in here so it doesn't mess up any of my other garages because I promise you if I move that to another garage it's literally going to explode every single car inside that garage but I only keep it in here because it doesn't do that so now getting into my first Del Piero apartment garage you can see the entire garage is Ocelot themed as you can see I have two Ocelot Strombergs and also two Ocelot Ardens parked right across from each other we also have right here a very clean looking Ocelot Virtue, the Locust, the Lynx, which I'm pretty sure I got from the podium because it literally looks like a podium vehicle. Over here I have the modded BJ, which is the BJ from that story mode mission in GTA 5 where they wrap Michael's body in the rug and they put him in the back of the car. As you can see, there is Michael there wrapped around in the rug. Anyway, right here we have the Ocelot XA21 with the modded interior secret gold. We have the Coil Cyclone and of course the two Ardents that I showed you before. Now inside of my second Del Piero apartment garage, as you can see, this should look familiar to you because it is literally the exact garage that I used for the thumbnail of this video. As you can see right here, we have this really clean modded 40 paint job and a Stafford. And that is basically what this entire garage is. It's literally all of my favorite modded paint jobs in GTA 5 Online that I own, like this really cool looking paint job on this LG Retro Custom. And yes, all of these cars are still fully modded. I decided to keep all of these cars fully modded though because the colors are just so amazing and the entire cars just look so beautiful because of the color. I just decided to keep it the exact way they all were previously. But yeah, honestly, regardless if you are a fan of modded cars or not, you can't even deny that these colors are just absolutely stunning. Okay, so now inside of my third and final Del Piero apartment garage, you can see in here I have two Vapid vehicles, which are the Vapid Retinue and also the Vapid FMJ, and the rest of these six vehicles are all Progen. As you can see, I have a Progen Emerus, a Progen T20, a Progen Itali GTB, another Progen Itali GTB, another T20, and also the Progen Tyrus. And then once again, for some reason, I have two random vehicles in here. I have a BMX for some reason and a car slot and also the Western Sovereign. Okay, so now going over all of my motorcycles inside of my MC Clubhouse, you can see right here I have a really cool and funny looking modded Vagio. Right here next to it, I have a modded four-wheeler Blazer that I really never use. I have a modded Lifeguard, the LCC Sanctus, my Shatara that I always use for time trials, the Batty 801, which I also use for time trials, this Hot Rod Blazer four-wheeler that I really never use, the Sanchez, and also the Manchez Scout, which is honestly probably my favorite motorcycle. Now inside of my agency garage, as you can see right here, we have the Entity MT, we have the Overflaw Tyrant, we have the Bunker Caddy, which is actually modded as you can tell by the color. Next to the Caddy, we have the Panad La Cruz, which honestly might be one of the best vehicles when it comes to handling in GTA. And then next to that, we have the Zion Classic. Across from the Zion Classic, we have the Albany VSTR, the Tailgater S in this really clean orange color, the Tundra Panther, and also the Maibatsu Monstrosity. 
Up on the second level, we have the Coil Cyclone 2, the Albany Cavalcade XL, which is one of the brand new cars in GTA 5 Online, the NS Jubilee, of course, the Rebla GTS. Over here, we have the Obey 10F Widebody, which is a really clean looking vehicle. Across from the 10F Widebody, we have the Rat Loader, the Chevelle Type-In, the Bestia GTS, the NS Dighty, and also the Overflow Xeno, which honestly, I don't even think I've driven this car before. It's now time to go over all of my nightclub garages, though, starting off with my nightclub level 4 garage. As you can see, this entire garage is going to be all benefactor themed vehicles, starting off with the Glendale Custom, the SM722. I have two Dubstas, a black one and also a white one. I also do have the Dubsta 6x6 and then right behind that I have the Benefactor XLS Armor, the Benefactor Shafter V12, another Shafter V12, and I also have the Benefactor Schwarzer. And the very last Benefactor vehicle in here is going to be the Benefactor Krieger. On to level 3, we have the Benefactor Serrano, the Benefactor Schlagen GT, the Ubermach Revolter, the Fagaloa, the Winnie Issy Classic. Right behind that, we have the Terabyte, which if you don't know, the Terabyte only can be stored in the Terabyte Garage, but I actually glitched it inside of this garage. So I technically have two different Terabytes now, but anyway, I also have the Super Diamond. Right next to that, we have the Bravado Yuga Classic, we have the Benefactor Straighter, and also the Nebula Turbo. On to now my second level though, you can see right here we have the Caddy once again and then this front level is going to be all Canis vehicles. So the Canis Kalahari, the Mesa, the Mesa once again, and also a Camocho. Behind the Camocho, it's going to be all BF vehicles. So starting off with the BF Surfer, the BF Injection, the BF Weevil, the BF Weevil Custom, and also the BF Raptor. I honestly forgot this was even a garage, but now to my level one, this isn't really a full garage with my personal vehicle but it really is just holding my Pounder Custom, my Mule Custom, and also my Speedo Custom, which really the only custom one in here is my Speedo Custom as you can see. Okay, now we are inside of my first Tinsel Towers apartment garage, and inside this garage we do have a whole bunch of cool vehicles, starting off with the Dinka Vito Modern, next to that we have the Declasse Tornado, pretty cool looking tornado here, we have the Declasse Walton L35, the Gang Burrito, and also the Bug Stars van. And right across the Bug Stars van we have the Declasse Dragger truck, and then next to that we have the Tornado, but this tornado is actually a rare one, as you can see it is the rare Mariachi Tornado with the guitars in the back seat. Anyway, we also have the Declasse Hot Ring Saber, the Declasse Scramjet, and also the Future Shock Issy. Now, inside of my second Tinsel Towers apartment garage, this entire garage is going to be only Dinka branded vehicles. Starting off with my Dinka Blista Conjo right here, the Dinka Jester, the Dinka Blista Compact, the Gogo -Go Monkey, the Gogo -Go Monkey again, the Jester RR, the Dinka Jester Classic, the Dinka RT3000, the Segoy, and also another Blista Conjo. Alright, but now inside of my arcade garage, honestly I don't really know what cars are inside of here, we're both going to find out right now because inside this arcade garage, I basically put all of my throwaways, so basically any car I don't really care about or any car I don't really want to have in any of my nice garages, I basically put in this garage. As you can see, none of these cars are really anything too special. I mean, the only somewhat cool cars in here is going to be this Obey Tailgater right here and also this Canis Bodhi. And the only reason this Bodhi truck is going to be really cool is because it's the exact Trevor's truck from story mode. As you can see, there is the teddy bear in the very front and it also has all of the accessories that Trevor's truck has from story mode inside this truck and online. So now let's go over all of the vehicles inside of my auto shop. So for all of you who have seen my top five fastest HSW vehicles, video you might actually see this part of my garage and recognize it because these are actually the five fastest HSW vehicles in the entire game all parked in the same garage. Very clean and also fast looking vehicles though. Over here we also have the Deveste 8. We have a Technical Aqua in here for some reason, a BF Surfer, the new Park Ranger that released recently, and also the Stanier LE Cruiser which is one of the police vehicles in the game. Alright, but now going over all of my Eclipse Penthouse garages, starting off with my first one, you can see we have the Dominator GT, the Dominator LE, the Dominator GTX, the Vapid FMJ, we also have the Slam Truck, the Guardian, the Flash GT, the Click Wagon, the Reg regular click and also the vapid winky. Inside of my second Eclipse Penthouse Garage, you can see this entire one is going to be grotty themed, starting off with my Turismo Classic, the Furia, the Itali GTO, the GT500, the Cheetah Classic, the Grotti Brioso 300, another Brioso 300 but that's a wide body, the Turismo Classic once again, the Itali RSX and also one more Itali RSX right there. 
And now inside of my third Eclipse Penthouse garage, you can see over here is going to be all Lampadati vehicles on this side, starting off with the Corsita, the Ferrari GT, the Felon, the Lampadati Komoda, the Lampadati Cinco Mila. Across that, we have the LG Retro Custom, the Obey Tailgater S, the Emperor Vector, the Volker Warner HKR, and also an all gold caddy. And inside of now my fourth Eclipse Penthouse garage, you can see on this side, it's going to be all Trafade. And on this side, it's going to be all Grotti starting off with my Grotti X80 Proto, another X80 Proto, the Vision, the Grotti Carbonizer, another Carbonizer. Across that we have the Truffe Thrax, another Thrax, another Thrax, and then we have the original version of the Bugatti, which is the Truffe Adder, and also one more Truffe Adder over here at the front. And finally, in my fifth and final Eclipse Penthouse garage, you can see this entire garage is going to be all De Classe themed vehicles. You can see starting off right here with the De Classe Saber Turbo Custom, the Mamba, the Yosemite. Yosemite, another Yosemite. We also have the Yosemite Rancher, which honestly looks pretty cool with those F1 wheels. Across the Rancher, we have the Class A Granger, the Moonbeam, the Drift Tampa, the Stallion, and also the Class A Vagero. So now I am inside of my casino penthouse garage. As you can see, this is actually another garage that I put throwaways in. Basically any garage with bad lighting, I always put the vehicles that I don't care about. As you can see, literally nothing really too crazy in here. I literally have a zirconium journey in here which I don't know about you guys, but the Zirconium Journey is not a vehicle anybody should own, but for some reason I have it. That's why it's inside this garage. Like I said, literally all throwaways inside this garage. I mean, this one looks pretty cool though. What is it called? The JB700W, that one looks pretty cool. But other than that one, nothing really else too really special in here. The Sylvestra, the trophy truck, and that is literally it. Okay, so it is now time to go over the Eclipse 50 car garage. Yes, this is going to take a little while because there is 50 cars in here, but starting off with my level one, you can see we have a whole bunch of cool cars in here starting off with over here on the right we have two d10s we have this really cool blue looking coquette we have the coquette classic and a cool thing about this coquette classic is as you can see it has the modded invisible back piece Anyway, next to that, we have the 8F Drafter, which is a pretty cool looking vehicle. We have the Ruiner, the Imponte Deluxo, the Arbiter GT, the Duke of Death, and also the Overflawed Entity XF. All right, now on level two of my 50 car garage, this entire garage is going to be Bravado themed, starting off over here on the right with the Bravado Buffalo with the F1 wheels. And we also have a regular version of the Bravado Buffalo with no F1 wheels. Next to that though, we also have a Banshee and also another Banshee. And at the very end, we have the Bravado Rumpo, which is the Weasel News Van. Across the Weasel News Van, we have the Buffalo EVX, which is the electric Dodge Challenger. And then we have the better version of the Dodge Challenger, which is the Dodge Hellcat, the Bravado Gauntlet, Hellfire. But we just have to take a second to look at this Bravado Hellfire. Honestly, just a beautiful looking build. As you can see, it has that gray color. We have the black stripes going down the middle and we also have the red guts. Just an all around really good looking vehicle in my opinion. But anyway, next to that, we have the Hot Ring Hellfire. We have the Bravado Buffalo STX, which is literally my IRL car. And then we also have the Bravado Buffalo S. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the next two levels of my 50 car garage are pretty underwhelming. Nothing really too crazy in here. Just basically random cars all in one garage. As you can see, I'm just going to quickly go through. We have two of these taxis right here, the Broadway and also the Eudora. Looks like I have one of the Halloween vehicles. And also I have this Buccaneer Custom, which is actually modded. You can see the top roof of it is completely glitched out. That is the modded roof that you can apply on it. We also have a, I don't even know what this is called. I guess it's called the Vapid Rattle, the 3600 LX Grain. We have the Obey Wagon, the Remus, the Frankenstein, which is another one of the Halloween vehicles, and also the Dominator GTX. Like I was telling you previously, this next garage is not going to have anything really too cool. We have, looks like a Wagner. This actually is a pretty cool looking Wagner though. We also have an Exemplar. We have the Albany Brigham, which is the ghost exposed vehicle. We have an actual pretty cool looking lowrider right here, the Peyote Custom, and also the Peyote Gasser, which is not that cool looking. But then we also have the Dubachi Champion across there. That looks pretty cool. We have the Nagasaki Outlaw. We have two of these F1 vehicles, the BR-8 and also the PR-4. And then the very last vehicle in here is going to be the Ennis Cognoscetti Armored. 
All right, now going over the very last level in my 50 car garage, level five. In here is a whole bunch of the new vehicles that just came out with the recent DLC. As you can see, we have the Omagio, we have the Asterobe GZ, the Fathom FR36, the Vagero ZX Convertible, the Vapid Unmarked Cruiser, the Vapid Illusion, which honestly is a waste of money. I don't even know why I bought this Illusion. Anyway, we have the Dominator GT, which would have been way better looking if it just had a hard top, but sadly it has the soft top. Anyway, across that we have the calico gtf which is not new but it is in here and we also have the slam van but this is not the regular slam van this is the vapid lost slam van which is a really rare modded car to get in gta 5 and lastly we have the class a impaler lx Okay, so now going over the last three garages that I have to go over, these are going to all be inside of my arena war and inside of my arena war garages are basically all of the big vehicles, vehicles like this. As you can see, two barrages, we have the Mammoth Patriot Stretch, we also have an APC and of course we also have the huge, I was about to say the name but I forgot, I think it's called like the Cerberus, I don't know, and we also have the Zaba right there, we have a Future Shock Issy, we have the Pegasi FCR 1000, which I don't even remember buying the spike but for for some reason it is in here and completely stock anyway across that we have the weenie dynasty and also the vigilante now onto level two of my arena as you can see right here we have the insurgent pickup custom that is indeed modded as you can see the gun on the top is still there but it is invisible you can still go on top of there and shoot the gun even if it is still invisible though which is pretty cool anyway right here we have the car car 4x4 we have the scarab tank we have another cerberus we have a half track that's modded and another half track that's modded and I'm pretty sure you can tell exactly what is modded about these half tracks. It has a whole bunch of the Benny's wheels on the back wheels of the half track, which normally does not belong there. Anyway, across the half tracks, we have a Future Shock Death Bike and we also have a Brutus. Then we have a Pink on Pink Revolter and also a Green on Green HVY Night Shark. And finally, on my third and final level of my arena, you can see right here we have a whole bunch of arena vehicles in here, starting off with my Future Shock Dominator that looks pretty cool, especially with that color. We also have a really cool looking modded Future Shock ZR380 and another modded ZR380, but this one is actually pink and yellow. Over here, it looks like we have the HVY Menacer, which honestly, I don't even think I've ever used that vehicle ever. And then we also have a Future Shock Bruiser, which honestly, I don't even remember the last time I used this vehicle as well. Across that, we have one of the Declasse Lifeguard trucks. We also have the Future Shock Impaler. And the last two vehicles in here are going to be the Future Shock Imperator, which looks really, really clean, especially with that paint job. And then lastly, we have the Future Shock Slam Van. Anyway, like I said, that is going to be the very last garage of today's garage tour video. Now we went over all of my garages in GTA 5 online and it took a long time but we went over all of them now. I'm also really curious to know which was your favorite garage out of all of my garages that I showed you in today's video. Let me know down below in the comment section that way I can see which garage was everyone's favorite. Also let me know down below in the comment section have I made much progress since my last garage tour video? I personally think I did like these garages in this video look way different than my past two garage tour videos. And if you haven't yet seen seen my past two garage tour videos, I'll go ahead and leave them linked down below at the very top of the description. Anyways, that is now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all did want to enjoy. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video if you haven't already. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. And until next time, I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.